On this trip, after a month of warm summer days, the weather is predicted to be quite unsettled. Sure enough, it is. I see brightness, overcast gloom, wind, calm, light rain and pouring rain. All through the previous warm weather, the carp have been found around the lilies in the middle of the lake. I find today that some have moved into this area, as betrayed by their bubbling and stirring up at the bottom. Short range feeder fishing looks to be the way to go, as there are definitely carp between this bank and the island. Whenever I fish open water, where there are no obvious patrol routes for the fish, I use ground bait to attract and hold them in my swim. A common fish meal ground bait with a handful of micros will attract and keep the carp occupied. Although I could fish a standard method feeder, I prefer to take the opportunity to control the attraction and feeding aspects separately. If I were to fish any distance, then the limitations of balling in ground bait would make a standard method feeder a better choice. I'm not sure how the fish will behave in this cooler, changeable weather, so I feed one small ball of ground bait and see how they respond. Fishing unclipped, I swing the feeder out just short of where the ground bait are settled. I don't want to cast beyond or even on top of the ground bait because I know the fish here are quite riggy. As usual, I see big line bites from the carp and little quivering indications from small fish demolishing the contents of the feeder. After just 10 minutes, the movements at the tip subside. Safe to say, the feeder is empty and needs reloading. I take this as my cue to adopt a pattern of reloading the feeder and putting one small ball of ground bait in every 10 minutes. On other days, this feeding interval may be different. It depends on how active the fish are, reinforcing the idea that angling is all about feeding. Unlike fishing at range, where the feeder rules, I could fish any method that the carp respond to. I could change feeders, I could switch to a bomb, or even use a float at this close range. It turns out that I don't need to change anything. I enjoy a steady run of fish right up until my ground bait runs out. 